Yo, Elliot, I'm 25 years old, and three years ago, I graduated with a bachelor's of marketing and sales. I was burned out, which turned into laziness after three years of unemployment. I recently picked up my sword again and found myself a job as a business consultant at a software company. I've been working here now one and a half months and work 32 hours a week. Now I make $2,000 a month uh, opposed to 700 euro a month, which I previously got, but I'm not satisfied with what I earn. When I got the job offer, I was so excited, I immediately jumped on the offer and accepted it, but now I'm working, I realize it's not much and I regret not having negotiated better. My question is, what would be the best way to earn more money? Would I be wise to ask for a raise half a year on the job? I don't feel like I've proven myself to be worth a raise yet. Uh, the company mentioned that after a year it would be possible to get an increase in salary, but that seems like such a long time. I'll be content with what I earn, but I cannot, I try to be content with what I earn, but I cannot help but have the thought of wanting to earn more, especially when I compare myself to other people earning more. Hopefully you get some advice. I won't be able to make the call. Okay. So before even answering your question, you need to go back to the drawing board and ask yourself, what do you need to earn per month to live the way you want to live? And then, and then re-engineer from that. You could say, because here's the thing, most people are very fuzzy about money. And what happens is when you're fuzzy about money, you really don't have a goal, so you can be taken for a ride. And so $2,000 a month sounded like a good idea for you because you didn't have the goal of $3,000 a month. You, you didn't go into this thinking, you know, I need to earn about $3,000 a month to live the way I want to live right now, right? And it doesn't mean that it's forever, but it's like where I'm at right now, given all my bills and given uh, what I'm saving for or where I'm going in life, I need to earn X amount of dollars. You start with that. You don't go get a job and find out what you earn and then decide, oh, this is not enough and say, I want more. What the hell does more mean? You don't know what more means. More could mean an extra dollar. It could mean an extra $700. It could be an extra $7,000. What is it? I think you got to be specific. And when you're specific and you know what it is that you're doing, it's very easy to then ask or Create that what you're after, just like with any other goal. If you, don't, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. You've ever heard that? So if you know, okay, I need to earn $4,000 a month, you might ask yourself, hey, or you might ask the person you work for, hey, I know you mentioned um, a raise after a year. I'm curious, how much is that raise? And so you could say to yourself, Oh, the raise is for an extra $2,000. I know that's exactly what I need. And then it's very easy for you. Then you say, oh, okay, good. I get to work for a year to then earn what I want to earn. And so now it's sort of, it's a goal and it's a commitment and it's a rites of passage. I get to work for this company that I chose to work for because there's something more, I guarantee, than just the money that attracted me. Maybe it was the hours, maybe it's the working conditions, maybe it's the mission or the vision of the leader. Whatever it is, there's some other reason why you decided, well, this might be a good fit for me. So you're here, it's a good fit for you. Don't let the money deter you, find out what they're willing to pay you, right? And so you're already in the mess. And like I told you before, I see you. You're already in the mess. Like I told you before, you really should have thought about this earlier. Everybody on the call, think about this ahead of time and pick a number that is, that is, I don't want to say practical because everybody hates that word, but mean, meaning something that will get you the life that you want without it being excessive or meager, right? Whatever it is, you decide, you figure that out. But then that becomes your goal when you focus on that. And that way, when you take jobs, you can, you can ask better questions. When you were there and they said $2,000 a month and in your mind you were like $4,000 a month, you could then ask, okay, it's $2,000 a month. Um, what are my opportunities for X, Y, Z? Are there opportunities for me to earn commission too? Are there opportunities for advancement? 
for me here. Are there, uh, is there a pay grade uh, or, or raise structure, right? You learn about that there. And what is that? What is the raise structure? Because now you hoping for a raise and you don't even know what the hell that raise is. Do you know what the raise is? You could be waiting around for a raise that you have no idea. It could be a $200 raise and you could be like, damn, you have no idea. You have no idea. You should at least ask them what the raise is and then compare that to what it is that you want. Does that make sense? You may actually find out that you don't need very much more than $2,000 a month. you just playing FOMO. I'm not saying that that's the case, but you're kind of lost in space. And so it may be, it may be you only need an extra $1,000 a month. So it's like, okay, wait, I'm working 32 hours a week right now. I'm earning $2,000 a month. I only need to make another $1,000 a month. Why don't I open a Shopify store? Why don't I do some affiliate marketing? Why don't I have a little side hustle? Not something that is going to take all my time and attention and energy, but something that will earn me an extra $1,000 a month. And then you break it down. What is an extra $1,000 a month? You're here, so I see you type in, what is your ideal income for the kind of life you want to live. If you can think of that right now, put it in the chat. You know what $1,000 a month is? It's an extra $33 a day. How can I earn an extra $33 a day? <laughs> when it boils down to it, it really ain't even that tough. You might have to do one door dash. You literally can door dash for one day a week and make up that extra $1,000. You see what I'm saying? And then now you don't have a problem. And that, okay, cool, so you're affirming $3,000. Yes, yeah, something like $3,000 for now. Good, okay. So that's where you are right now. You need to earn an extra $1,000. Don't get, don't get upset or think that you need to have a grand plan and that you need to quit this job and it was the worst thing that you did and then you start being resentful to the job and you're resentful to your boss and you start doing a shitty job and then you, you, you force them to fire you because you, 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 you never got clear about what you wanted. No, 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 don't do any of that. That's stupid stuff. That's what a lot of people do. Keep your job. I'm pretty sure it's a good job. I'm pretty sure you like the job. I'm pretty sure there's a good reason why you're there. Unless it's completely terrible, stick around. But then either think of or ask, hey, is there any way that I could earn a little bit more money? I'd like, or even offer something. Hey, I noticed that there's this, uh, there's something that needs to be done that's not getting done. I noticed that you actually need some help with this thing over here. Uh, wh what do you say I take on that little project on the side and uh, w would you be willing to pay me extra to do that? Oh, Lucas, well, that's wonderful, amazing. In fact, we've been thinking for a long time that we ought to fix this thing. And so we were looking for someone that can do that. Yeah, absolutely. As long as you can continue doing your 32 hours a week that you've been doing and you can add this on the side, we'd love to pay you, Lucas, an extra $1,000 a month to do that. You see what I'm saying? Now you're thinking with abundance. I want you to think with abundance. Oper think, think possibilities. You got it, dude? So... I hope that helps. Done. <laughs>